Are you on the lookout for a dessert crazy enough to satisfy even the most intense sweet tooth? Let's take a look at the 11 most outrageous desserts you can try on your Disney vacation. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Now, as you've probably noticed by watching our channel or taking Disney trips of your own, there's no shortage of sweet treats to be found on Disney property. So whether you're at Disney World, Disneyland, or on a Disney cruise, you have plenty of dessert options to choose from, and some of them are seriously insane. Let's take a look at the 11 most outrageous Disney desserts. First up, of course, I bet you can guess. Take a minute to guess. It's the kitchen sink at Beaches and Cream. Now, were you right? Is that, did you guess right? <laughs> Two points for you. I don't know, we don't have points. Okay, we might as well start with this one out of the gate because if you're at all familiar with our channel or Disney or Beaches and Cream or the Beach Club Resort, the kitchen sink itself, there's no way we could leave this one off the list. So the kitchen sink is a guest favorite that's been around for years. You can find it at Beaches and Cream Soda Shop at Disney's Beach Club Resort, just FYI. The longer you wait to try it, the more it's gonna cost. Cause I feel like every year it goes up, it goes up like three or four dollars. It's crazy. Used to be real cheap and now it's like 30 something. I don't even know. It's crazy expensive. Oh, there it is. It's $35. I just looked it on my, on my script down there. So this dessert is not for the faint of heart. It's huge. The regular kitchen sink comes with scoops of chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, cookies and cream, and mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's topped with literally every topping they have. You're gonna find brownies, Oreos, peanut butter sauce, chocolate sauce, pineapple, banana, gummy candies, chocolate shavings, nuts, and cherries all included in your kitchen sink. Now this may vary for you. You never know what toppings they happen to have at the time, depending on what they're serving. And if that wasn't enough sugary sweetness for you, it comes topped with an entire can of whipped cream. Yeah, they totally empty an entire can on top of your kitchen sink. Now, the best part is that it actually comes in a kitchen sink. It's a super cute bowl that's shaped like a kitchen sink with little taps and everything. Super adorable. And your family can make some really fun memories taking on the challenge of the kitchen sink. They do recommend that this is for four people. So I've seen lots of people attempt it with two people. Never seen anybody do it, just one person, but I'm sure it's happened. Now the kitchen sink also comes in a chocolate lover's version or a Neapolitan version. So if all of those flavors together is a little too overpowering, then try just just the chocolate, which I think has chocolate ice cream, cookies and cream, vanilla, just kind of stays in the chocolate family. Neapolitan is of course chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Now, like I said, this one's gonna cost you $35 right now. I don't know how much it's gonna cost you in a couple months. And the menu says it can serve four, but again, it's huge. So you might wanna split it between even more people, especially if you've already had a full meal before tackling this dessert. Now, understand that everybody kind of tackles this with their own spoon. They do bring some separate dishes, but there is, you know, you just, you need to really like the people you're having this with. Just heads up. Okay. Next up, the ice cream taco right next door at Ample Hills. Guests can find the ice cream taco at Ample Hills Creamery, which is located at Disney's Boardwalk Inn. Now, while we know you can find ice cream tacos at a few sweet shops around Disney property, our favorite thing about the one at Ample Hills is that you can get unlimited toppings. You also get your choice of ice cream flavors, and they have some really unique and delicious options made right there in-house at Ample Hills. A few fun choices, chocolate milk and cookies, ooey gooey butter cake, one of my favorites, cotton candy, Sally's sell seashells, which is the flavor exclusive to this location, made with orange marshmallow ice cream and salty dark chocolate seashells. Kind of weird, but it's okay. It's good. I don't mind it. Not my favorite. Can you tell? They also have some rotating flavors, so your mileage is going to vary as far as the exact flavor choices you have but you'll definitely have plenty of options to choose from and they'll all be delicious. They're all made in house. Also fun note about our experience ordering the ice cream taco. When we asked the cast member how many scoops of ice cream would be included, they said as many as I can fit, which should give you a pretty good indication of how epic this treat is. All those scoops of ice cream and toppings come served in a taco shaped waffle cone, which makes for a delicious and Instagram worthy treat. And the great part is you can grab your own for just $8.99. That's actually pretty inexpensive for how much ice cream, how many toppings you're getting. So it's a great deal. All right, moving on to the s'mores baked Alaska. Now, you guys, if you've watched the channel, you know how I feel about this. This is at the boathouse and it is going to set you back $40. The presentation is impressive for sure. The center of the dessert is made of Rocky Road ice cream, which is surrounded by meringue and topped with torched marshmallows and Hershey bars. 
what you get for the price, I don't think it's really worth it. It's an absolutely massive tower of a dessert served with a steak knife to cut it. But honestly, you think about what you're getting, you're getting probably I don't know, a pint and a half of Rocky Road ice cream that you can get at the store. There's nothing special about it. And then a couple of little Hershey bars and some marshmallows. 40 bucks? Seems kind of crazy. Anyway, according to the menu, it serves four people. But when you really break it down, all you're getting probably less than $10 worth of product. Now, if that sounds like your dream dessert, then by all means, go to town. But our team's personal opinion was that this one's both outrageous in terms of presentation and price tag, especially considering the number of other dessert options you can have at Disney Springs and even at the Boathouse. The Boathouse has some great desserts, so I don't know why you'd skip those in favor of this that you can basically just make at home the next time you go to the Publix or the Kroger. All right, ice cream martini at Artisan de Glace. You know we love this place and we love the ice cream martini. You can find this delicious spiked treat at the France Pavilion in Epcot. It's absolutely one of our all-time favorites and it's very, very unique. I'm not really seeing this anywhere else on property. This dessert comes with two scoops of your choice of gelato or sorbet and it's then topped with a liqueur of your choosing. You can pick from Grand Marnier, rum, or whipped cream flavored vodka. Now, this is really unique, really interesting and fun. If you've tried one before or decide to pick one up on your next trip, let us know what flavor combination you went with. We're always looking for inspiration for the next time we order this. This one's going to cost you $11.97 and in our opinion, it's worth every penny. Next up, that Ohana bread pudding. Of course, it's all you can eat and you get this as part of your Ohana dinner. So we'll talk about that in a second. This bread pudding is amazing. And you're gonna find it at the Polynesian Village Resort. Now you can get it at Ohana. You can also get it through their private dining or room service at the Polynesian. And you can also get it at Tambu Lounge next door to Ohana if you don't wanna pay for the full Ohana dinner. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to try this one yet, it's warm pineapple bread pudding served a la mode with banana caramel sauce you can pour on top. And it is truly life-changing. It is delicious and it's also bottomless. That's why it made our list. It's not an outrageous quote unquote dessert by itself. It's super delicious. But what I love about it is that you can actually get it bottomless when you get it at Ohana. You can have as much of it as you want because Ohana is an all you can eat restaurant. And that also applies to dessert. So you get as much of this bread pudding as your heart desires, which might be a problem if you're like me. Now the bread pudding is included in the dinner cost, which will run you $55 per adult and 30 three dollars per child but just press trust me when i say you really need to leave room for dessert here now like i said you can also get it at tambu lounge next door or you can get it through room service but that's not going to be bottomless you're going to pay i believe twelve dollars just for one serving of it at tambu lounge which is crazy expensive when you think you're paying 55 dollars for a full all you can eat meal over there at ohana all right, heading over to the Disney Cruise Line. We've got a couple from the Cruise Line, but then we're going to head back into the parks. Family Challenge Sunday on the Disney Dream. For anyone with an upcoming sailing on the Disney Dream, we have something you have to add to your itinerary. You can find that Family Challenge Sunday at Vanellope Sweets and Treats aboard the ship. And just like the name suggests, you're going to want to bring the whole family along to help with this one. It comes with a whopping eight scoops of ice cream and eight toppings. And it comes served in a souvenir bowl, which is shaped like a trophy and has has a little design that says Ralph's Family Challenge, so you'll even get a keepsake along with your dessert. Now, unlike a lot of the food on the ship, the dessert is not included with the price of your sailing, so you'll need to dish out $14.95 to snag this one. But considering both the amount of food and the souvenir bowl, we think the price tag on this one is reasonable. Also, don't forget that you can actually order this to have delivered to your dinner location. So depending on where you're eating in your rotational dining on the ship, you can order this and have it delivered to your restaurant that night. So that's awesome. Um, so much fun as a surprise for someone's birthday or anniversary, or just a surprise for your family because you're happy to be sailing with them. All right, the salted caramel bubble waffle at Arista Crepes. This is a really fun one, you guys. You can find it at Arista Crepes in Disney Springs. And as we've mentioned before, the hours at Arista Crepes tend to be pretty limited. So this one might take some planning to get. The kiosk doesn't open till 4 p.m. on weekdays, but they do open at noon on the weekends, so you have a slightly larger window then. Now, this is a huge bubble waffle, which are super trendy right now, filled with chocolate ice cream, chocolate-covered pretzel pieces, crispy pearls, caramel sauce, and vanilla bean whipped cream. While the dessert will definitely satisfy your 
sweet tooth. It also has that subtle hint of a salty flavor thanks to those pretzel pieces and the salted caramel. Now we thought this was a really nice touch that upped the game for this one, gave it a little bit more depth of flavor than you would normally expect. The bubble waffle also comes in a strawberry version if that sounds more up your alley than salted caramel and chocolate. Now both versions are gonna be $8.99, but you can get them in a souvenir bowl as well. That's gonna up the price a little bit. Right now it's a super cute little Mickey ear hat that you can get it in. Now what makes this one outrageous? It's huge and super, super shareable. Plus, you're really not gonna find anything like this anywhere else in Disney World right now. Those bubble waffles, they don't exist anywhere else at the moment. All right, let's head over to Takumite to talk about the Shizuku water cake. Now, we're switching gears a little bit with this dessert, sharing this one. Up until now, the desserts have earned their spot on this list because they're super sweet, downright huge, or a combination of the two. But the Shizuku water cake makes this list because it is so unique. Honestly, it's not just unique in Disney World. I think it's unique in the United States, too. I'm sure there are other water cakes being served elsewhere, but I've never seen one until I saw this. Takumite is the signature dining location that was recently opened at Epcot's Japan Pavilion, and just like the rest of the meal, this dessert was definitely not your standard run-of-the-mill option. It's basically a see-through dome of gel-like liquid, and if you take a bite of just a cake by itself, it literally just tastes like water. It's accompanied by brown sugar, soybean crumble, and sake-soaked rose petals, and when we tried it, we found that we had to take a bite with everything together to get any sort of flavor. Now, you can't take too much time snapping pics of this one because it will slowly start to liquefy, so grab your shots quick, everybody. And the dessert is included on the omakase tasting menu, which is $150 per person, or you can order it individually for $14. Heading over to Disney Springs, it is time for the Earthquake family favorite Sunday at Ghirardelli. This is an intense Sunday as well, both super sweet and gigantic, and it's currently on the menu at Disney Springs. It's not showing on the menu for the location in Disney California Adventure, though we have had it there before, so be sure to keep an eye out in case it makes a West Coast comeback. This one's loaded up with eight scoops of ice cream, eight toppings, a banana whipped cream, chopped almonds, Ghirardelli mini dark chocolate chips, and of course, cherries, and you're definitely going to want to pack your stretchy pants for this one. According to the menu, this serves four people, but we think it could easily serve even more, and it's going to cost you $39.95. So the kitchen sink's actually less expensive than this one, which is surprising. Heading over to Disneyland, let's talk about those crazy shake milkshakes at Black Tap Craft Burgers and Shakes. If you've been to Black Tap at Downtown Disney and Disneyland, you know why it was hard for us to pick just one milkshake from the menu. In fact, we didn't just pick one. We picked a bunch. Black Tap is the original home of over-the-top milkshakes. One of the huge standouts is the cake shake. This is a cake batter shake topped with a huge slice of Funfetti cake. If that's not enough of a sugar rush for you, it also has whipped cream, rainbow sprinkles, and a cherry. And they only serve a limited number of this shake per day, so heads up. Another crazy shake worth highlighting is the Bam Bam Shake. This is Fruity Pebbles Shake topped with the Fruity Pebbles Rice crispy Treat, Strawberry Pop Tart, Laffy Taffy, Whipped Cream, and a Cherry. Makes my teeth hurt just thinking about it, and I love it. There are 10 crazy shakes currently on the menu at Black Tap. You're also going to find seasonal ones come in from time to time, and they'll run you between $15 and $19, depending on which one you choose. Don't forget, if you don't want to go inside the restaurant to order your crazy shake, you can get a crazy shake to go outside. There's a to-go window for your Black Tap crazy shakes. Now, the difference between these crazy shakes and other ones I've tried around Disney World property and Universal Studios property is that the baked goods on these ones are actually really, really fresh and really delicious. So you're not getting kind of a stale item that's been sitting around for a long time. It's awesome. And last but certainly not least, let's talk cookie dough, you guys. There's been a ton of cookie dough treats popping up around the Disney parks lately. There's a great cookie dough sundae that's back in Magic Kingdom at Storybook Suites, but we're talking about one over at Disney Springs. Did you know there's a whole cookie dough truck right now at Disney Springs? And today we're going to talk about the Celebration Parfait. This is at the Cookie Dough and Everything Sweet food truck. Now the Celebration Parfait features layers of Celebration Cookie Dough, Celebration Mickey Cake, 
vanilla custard, strawberry sprinkles, whipped cream, and a cherry. This was actually our favorite thing on the menu at the cookie dough food truck. You know we tried everything. It was sweet, but not sickeningly sweet, unlike the rest of the things there. And it tasted a lot like Funfetti cake to us. But the presentation on this one was next level. The Mickey-shaped Funfetti cake on top was a colorful and cute, not to mention delicious addition to the dessert. And the rainbow sprinkles and strawberries kept the color explosion going even as we got further and farther into the dessert. As with all the cookie dough we tried, this was definitely rich. So you might want to share this one with a friend unless you have an intense sugar craving. You can grab a celebration parfait for just $8, which is crazy for the richness that you're getting in this dessert. So there we go, y'all. The 11 most outrageous Disney desserts. We want to hear what you have to say, though. Let us know in the comments some of your favorite Disney desserts. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. You guys, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.